Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Hi folks, welcome to the another session on Kotlin Fundamentals. In the previous video, we basically ended wondering where are the setters and getters in our person class. Well, the reason to ask that particular question is I have instance variables first name and last name in the person class and I am trying to print the first name and last name but however you don't see any setter and getter being written here. Well that is because in Kotlin you get a setter and getter by default for any instance variables that you declare in your class. Now the question is how does that look like actually? Well to understand that let me write a default setter and getter that typically a instance variable gets by the Kotlin compiler that is set and then field is equal to value. So what is actually happening here is set is a function, a built-in function basically and this function is taking a argument that is value that you typically pass to a setter and that value is getting assigned to a field. Now the question is what is this field and value? Value is an argument it could be anything for that matter and field is actually a inbuilt keyword that you can only use within the context of setter and getter the standard name for this field is backing field and this field actually represents the instance variable first name so it is actually like writing this dot first name is equal to value however you can't use this dot first name so that is about setter now how does the getter look like well you can write get and then assign a field here this is also valid or if you are doing something more complicated probably it is better to put it under braces inside the braces you can write return field and now if I run this you will still see no difference because this is how a typical default setter and getter for an instance variable actually looks like in the Kotlin. If you are not sure whether this is actually getting executed let me put some print statements here and if I run this you can see that setter for first name is getting invoked. This is getting invoked because it is part of the constructor initialization here we are setting the value that is why the setter is getting invoked there and here I am trying to access it and that is why the getter is getting executed to demonstrate it even more further let me invoke the primary constructor and then write person dot first name is equal to Anil and now if I run this you can see that now setter for first name is getting invoked and then I am trying to print that that is a getter so that is why you are seeing the getter for first name is getting invoked and you can see that the last name is null because I have not initialized the last name here so let me write person dot last name and now you will see that setter and getter for the first name is getting invoked. I can just copy this and paste it after the last name instance variable. Now basically what I have got now is the setter and getter for the last name as well. So as soon as you write a setter and getter after a particular instance variable you are basically implementing a setter and getter for that particular instance variable. What do I mean by that is this setter and getter is meant for the first name and these set of setter and getters is meant for the last name. So now if I run this you can see that initially setters two setters get executed that is basically for first name and last name and then to getters get executed that is for basically printing the first name and last name. Now the question is why would you write a setter and getter for instance variables in a class when you are already getting them by default. Well the reason is you may want to actually customize your setter and getter. What do I mean by that? For example when you want to set the first name you want to uppercase it. This basically makes sure that when you get it and print it you are basically printing them in a uppercase format. So let me run this now you will observe that Anil Deshpande is coming in the uppercase because when I actually set the values I converted into a uppercase and then set it to a field. This is pretty simple I can show you a little bit more complicated example. So let me declare a instance variable called as age which is of type int 
and let the default value be null and then I can write a setter here and in the setter if value is less than 18 I can't do this so I can do value dot compare to 18 is less than 0 then probably I will throw a exception we will discuss exception a bit in a detailed manner later but i hope you basically get the gist what i am trying to do i will only allow the setting of the age if it is more than 18 otherwise i will throw a exception person is minor else can just write field is equal to value and in the same way i can write getter and i will just return the first this is also a valid way of writing a getter method provided you don't have anything complicated if you have anything complicated then you have to put it under the brace just like i have done earlier so this is good enough now try to do person dot h is equal to say 15 i should actually run into a exception and that's what you will see exception person is minor so what i have basically done is i have customized my setter however if i do 19 and run it you will observe that nothing happens everything goes perfectly fine and if i print the value it will print perfectly fine the number 19 so this is the whole idea behind why you should use setter and getter if at all you want to use otherwise if you don't have any complicated requirement it is perfectly fine not to provide your own setters and getters so we with this i end this particular video in the next video we will get started with the another new topic in kotlin fundamentals so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye